Okay. Yes. Okay. So, hello and welcome to everyone who is joining us here on this beautiful day, live on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. So, my name is Annette, and I'm the head of uh, strategy and operations at the Earth Foundation. And I'm here today with two of my wonderful colleagues, uh, our wonderful CEO, Angela McCarthy, and also our lovely uh, communications associate, Luki. Now, we are here today to announce the Earth Prize 2024 finalists. But before we do that, um, I just thought I'll give you a really quick overview of who we are and what we do in case you are joining us for the first time. So the Earth Prize is a competition run by the Earth Foundation, which is a small nonprofit based in Geneva, Switzerland, that aims to inspire, educate, empower and mentor youth around the world. And EarthRise is our main initiative. Is It is a global um, environmental sustainability competition for high school students to come up with a solution to an environmental problem. So in the three years that we've been running the EarthRise competition, we have reached over 10,000 students across thousands of schools in 154 countries and territories and seen some of the most amazing and inspiring um, solutions that the students have come up with. So this year we had close to 1,000 teams um, working on the projects. And today is the exciting day that we find out the 10 finalists who will be advancing to the last stage of the competition. So not to keep you waiting for too long, I will pass it on to Angela, who will reveal the 10 teams shortly. Thank you, Annette. It is great to be here today to announce the Earth Prize 2024 finalists. Firstly, though, I would like to thank our extremely dedicated and passionate adjudicating panel that volunteer their time to look over each and every individual brilliant solution that comes their way. And they have the challenging task to select the 10 finalists. We would not be here without their dedication, their knowledge and wisdom. I would also like to express gratitude to the Earth Prize mentors. Um, they have done incredible work championing, guiding and supporting this year's participants. We're especially thrilled that we have had 50 mentors this year from 35 different universities representing 34 nationalities. And last but not least, we really want to thank our incredible students from all over the world and the teachers that have dedicated their time and energy to be part of this competition. We would not be here without any of you. We know what it takes to, to sign up and to get to this part. But for those of you who don't make it to the finalist phase, please don't lose hope. Just get back into your, into your knowledge and your ideas and your, and your solutions and do what you can to improve them and just come back next year. Now, we don't want to keep you waiting any longer. So we are now going to jump in to the announcement of this year's 10 finalists. Team Biotechs. The Knowledge Society from Canada, an innovative technique in textile waste management in Kenya, employing a circular economy model and incentivizing recycling. Team Ceres from Bashashir College from Turkey, innovative plasma technology addressing crop loss due to environmental stressors, offering sustainable solutions for global agriculture. Team Coco Mello from IIV, Vietnam, a revolutionizing design in eco-friendly diapers utilizing coconut core and banana fiber. Team Environmental Saviors from Shakira STEM School, Egypt, a pioneering method to accelerate organic waste decomposition and produce high quality fertilizer to enhance soil fertility and crop yields. Team Falcons from Palmer Trinity School, United States, a social enterprise promoting soil health in Central America through tailored arbuscular mycolia fungi amendments. Team Floodgate from North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics, United States, a groundbreaking web application for predicting floods and empowering communities with accurate information for mitigation and relief efforts. 
Team Hive Healthy from Crimson Global Academy, New Zealand, a novel hive health monitoring system utilizing sensors and machine learning to safeguard honeybee populations and pollination ecosystems. Team Mycoflor, Eaton College, United Kingdom, a pioneering method using fungi to filter water, offering efficient and accessible water purification for communities in the Niger Basin. Team Pebble from Eton College, United Kingdom, a platform that pulls idle GPUs to democratize high-powered computing, reduce energy and consumption, and promote environmental sustainability in tech. Team Sensory AI from Newport Harbor High School, United States. AI enabled mini meteorological stations to detect natural hazards, offering early warning to vulnerable communities worldwide. Congratulations to all the teams. I am now gonna pass you on to Lucia, who is gonna share with you the next steps of the Earth Prize 2024 competition. Thank you, Angela. I think uh, Lucia's... I'm sorry, I'm here. Congratulations everyone to the 10 finalist teams. We are very, very excited to embark on this journey with you and we wish you the best of luck. Uh, and of course, congratulations to everyone who participated in this year's competition. Uh, from now on, our teams uh, will start working on refining their, their final idea with valuable support from our mentors, our change makers, our ambassadors to then be able to present the final idea to our adjudicating panel in April. Uh, and of course, don't forget, in April 22nd, Earth Day, we will be announcing live the winner, three runners up, educator and mentors of the year of the Earth Prize 2024. So stay tuned. Make sure you follow the Earth Prize on social media to stay up to date with everything. Um, and yeah, best of luck to, to everyone. And thanks everyone for joining us today for the announcement of the 10 finalists of the Earth Prize 2024. Thank you so much, everyone, and goodbye. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.